The only thing better than reading a good book is reading a good book for free. I'm honestly quite surprised how many people still pay for books when there are ways to get them entirely for free. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite five apps that I use regularly to download entirely free books onto my phone. And that works for iPhone just as well as for Android. Let's get started. The first app on our list that I absolutely love and that I use all the time is called My Books. It's a really cool and well-designed app that you can use to download free versions of very popular books. As you can see here, the app offers you a browsing function which allows you to search after specific genres, but it also lets you filter by different authors. If you don't find what you're looking for right there, there is of course a search function that lets you search the whole catalog of hundreds of thousands of books on this app as well as an editor's pick, which I really like because it makes it so much easier to make up your mind what to read next. Now, as you probably noticed on this app, most of the books offered are classics and there's a good reason for that. The thing is that those books are no longer copyright protected, so they are public domain and free to share for everyone, which is a great thing because it becomes available to you and me and we don't have to pay for it anymore, at least if we know which apps to use. And I can tell you right now, if you're a lover of classic literature like I am, then you probably never have to pay for another classic book again in your life, if you use the tips in this video correctly. But of course not everyone is excited about classic literature, there are other people who look for more modern books and there are apps for those people as well. App number two on our list is called Rakuten Kobo. Now this is a fantastic app because it makes so many newly released books available to people for free. Once you open the app, you can see that there's even a specific button showing you where the free books are. So they really make it as easy as possible for you to find them. Now in my overview, all the books offered there are in Swedish because I live in Sweden, but wherever you live, you're gonna find books in your local language. Of course, the intention of Rakuten with this app is that eventually you use it to also buy books that you're interested in and that you can find for free there, but nobody forces you to do that. You can take full advantage of their honestly quite big catalog of free books without ever paying a dime. And I for one really love myself some free content in whatever form. So if you feel the same way and you have enjoyed the free content in this video so far, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. For now though, let's continue with our list of the best apps to get free books because we haven't even gotten to the best ones yet. And one of them is certainly Oodles. This is an app that I use on a regular basis because I just love the simplicity of the design and the user interface. You open it and the very first thing that you see at the top is free classics. If you then decide to read one of them, all you have to do is click on the book, click on the download button and after a few seconds you're ready to go. If however you feel a little bit undecided and you need some inspiration on what to read next, fear not, there's also categories of the top books and the top authors on this app. So you can simply make your choice based on what other people love most. And you can find anything from Oscar Wilde to Mark Twain to Charles Dickens on this app. Just take a second here and appreciate how awesome that is. Those are some of the biggest names in literature, in writing, some of the most brilliant minds the world has ever seen and you're able to download their entire collection of work with the click of a button. And to make it even better, all of that is for free. I honestly don't understand why not more people take advantage of that. And speaking of taking advantage, the next app is just as awesome. It's app number four on our list, it is iReader. Now I know all my Android users out there unfortunately don't have access to this app, but it's just too awesome to not at least mention in this list. And who knows, maybe it even inspires one or two of you to switch over to iPhone. The best thing about iReader is that it is designed by Apple, so the interface just looks absolutely amazing. It's simple, it's easy to navigate and you have all your books neatly categorized. If you then go into one of these categories, for example literature, you get a whole list of different books that are free and fully available to you. Just have a quick look at the fantastic offers here. We have Pride and Prejudice, Moby Dick, War and Peace, Don Quixote, Anna Karenina, the list goes on and on. So for everyone who has an iPhone, I really recommend that you go and check out your pre-installed iReader. It's totally worth your time. And with that, we have already reached the last app that I can recommend to get free books wherever you go. This one is called Aldico. This is yet another app that you open and you can barely believe that this is even legal. Cause immediately when you do, you get books like The Great Gatsby, Treasure Island or Sherlock Holmes offered to you for free. 
Books that easily cost you 15 to 20 bucks if you buy them in a bookstore. So let's say for example we decide to read The Picture of Dorian Gray, one of the all-time greats. All we do here is first click on the book, then click on the download button and voila, we're ready to read. You can also see that the navigation in the book itself is really as simple as possible. All you have to do is swipe to get to the next page. And there you have it, the list of the five best apps to get books entirely for free. My books, Oodles, Rakuten, iReader and Aldico. And while all of them are great, they are not all the same. So I recommend that you get a few of them, try them out and decide for yourself which ones you like best. I hope this video was helpful to you and if you're looking for some inspiration on what books to get started with, I recently made a video about the best classics of all times. So really classics that I believe everyone should have read at least once in their lives. You can check it out right up here. I will see you in the next video.